the time has finally come. Legacies are going to be taken out of Fallout 76, whether that's in the near future or if you're watching this and they've already patched them, it's going to happen. The queen will no longer die in two seconds and people won't be running around like madmen eating up all the experience points. I can't say I wasn't one of those people during double XP weekends. I mean, I pretty much destroy everything. It's probably for the best, so we're just going to have to accept it. Certain weapons are going to be much more sought after than others, and we're going to take a dive into what the best weapons are going to be in Fallout 76 once they actually do patch all the legacies. You might be surprised what guns show up on this list. If you're a new player to Fallout 76, then this video is going to help you immensely. If you're a veteran player and have something to add or have your own favorite weapon that you think is going to be better than others, then drop it below. It'll help out everybody. Unless you've been living under a rock, then you probably already know what a legacy is. Legacy weapons in Fallout 76 are weapons that don't have certain attributes in their drop pool anymore. One of the big ones are energy explosive weapons. And there's a good reason why. These weapons are absolutely insane. They just rip through anything and you only need one card for the build to work and that's Demolition Expert. For some reason, the explosive effect is way stronger on energy weapons. And these weapons were so heavily duped that there are probably hundreds of thousands in Fallout 76. 76. And then on top of that, they're being sold for cash money on black markets on websites. So I think Bethesda wants to put a halt to that. And I don't really blame them. So let's take a look at what some of the strongest weapons are going to be when they finally do take legacies out of the game. The very first weapon we have to cover is the Handmaid. This thing is very underestimated in the community. Definitely don't overlook this weapon. This is a bloodied Handmaid. It can easily rip through enemies as long as you have the right cards and equipment. Bloodied Commando or Rifleman is gonna be a huge build. The amount of damage that the bloodied assault rifles put out in the game is ridiculous. Some do just as good, if not better, as some of the explosive legacy weapons that are out there now, especially this next weapon. Next up on the list has to be the Fixer. You knew it was coming. This thing is one deadly weapon. This gun has been ripping through enemies since beta, and this is one of the few weapons that Bethesda hasn't messed with too much or nerfed, and hopefully that doesn't change. With the right perks on the weapon and the right cards, you can pretty much rip through any enemy in this game within a few shots. The Fixer is actually fairly easy to get nowadays. The plan has a small chance to drop from the event encrypted, but the difference from before, you used to not be able to to craft your own fixers. You're only able to get them from drops, such as from events or enemies. Nowadays, you can just roll your own fixers and add your own attributes. Keep an eye out for quad fixers as well. Quad assault rifles with their ammo capacity make them vital for non-bloody builds. This weapon, the Gatling gun, I had to throw it on the list only because for two reasons, actually. One, it's good for new players and it drops pretty early on and is pretty accessible. Two is this. This has a tiny glitch to where if you hold the right trigger and spam the left trigger, it shoots as fast as you can pretty much pull your aim button. This is normal shooting, shot every half second or so. And this is if you spam the left trigger. It turns into a semi-automatic and it could be devastating. This is patched in the PTS as of right now. so I I don't know if this will be patched with the legacies, but it's worth trying. If it's patched, just skip ahead. Again, it's just hold the right trigger, hold your shoot button, and it's spam left. And this is just a Furious Prime Gatling gun, and it's ripping through enemies like it's nothing. I don't have the first card on to help its damage either. This thing is absolutely devastating. Next up on the list has to be the chainsaw. This thing is absolutely insane. I had to put a melee weapon on here and I'm actually torn between the auto axe and the chainsaw. And the reason I say that is because the auto axe is actually probably one of the strongest melee weapons in the game when it wants to work. But otherwise, the chainsaw is the king when it comes to melee weapons. This is a bloodied dual bar chainsaw that's flaming and has 40% more attack power damage. When that's on a weapon that doesn't have a power attack, it seems to be applied at all times. I just really hope Bethesda fixes the melee weapons and the VATS issues that come with them. They are really cool weapons and I wish we could use them to their full potential. What we can use right now is the chainsaw for the Nuka K games. This thing is the best weapon by far for every single game in this tent. You'll be racking up points like crazy. Definitely worth checking out. The next one that we absolutely have to talk about is the Railway Rifle. This gun is probably a lot less known than the previous ones that we spoke about, at least for being the meta. A lot of people think the Fixer is the best gun, and it can be, but the Railway puts out a stupid amount of damage. The Bloody one's okay, but the Quad Explosive Railway blows the Bloody one out of the water. The Bloody one only holds 10 rounds, where the Quad holds 40 rail spikes. You set that to automatic, and it will rip through crowds of enemies. Sadly, the semi automatic automatic mod shoots way too slow, at least for me, so automatic is the way to go. 
Next up on the list is the Enclave Plasma Rifle with the Flamer Mod. This is probably one of the most broken weapons in the game that will probably stick around. This thing has a very large clip. It holds 300 rounds. This will be the most sought after weapon in Fallout 76 after the update. How you get this gun is from the random event dropped connection. In order for you to get this event to pop, you have to become a general within the Enclave by completing all their missions. You can head on down to your friendly vendor bot at either Berkeley Springs or what Toga Station to try to get the Flamer mod, but it's a very small chance for that mod to be in the vendor's inventory. But you can just keep hopping servers and you'll find it eventually. Make sure you get the Enclave aligned Flamer mod. Don't get it mistaken for the regular Plasma Rifle Flamer mod. I have seen people try to sell the Plasma Rifle mods as the Enclave version, so you gotta keep an eye out. I don't know, it bees like that sometimes. There are so many more weapons that I could go over. There are tons of good two-shot explosive, heavy guns, all that kind of stuff. Let me know what weapon you think is going to be the strongest. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see something I didn't learn until I was level 1000, click right here. If you want to see some other cool videos, check this out right here. Take it easy, Wastelanders. Peace.